Lives Phantom Fox here and welcome back to the Silent Age. Now I'm going to be starting off with chapter two. If you guys haven't seen the first one, I recommend going back to see it. <clears throat> Excuse me. This game is actually pretty awesome so far. It's a point and click. But it has like this cute little quality to it that I just really, really like. And I've just, I've enjoyed this game thoroughly so far. So, chapter 2 is called The Future. After learning about Frank's sudden departure and getting promoted, drama unfolds as Joe finds a dying tri traveler who asks him to save man from extinction. Now, in police custody, Joe must make sense of it all. And that's, that tall and short covers up the first episode, but you really need to watch the first episode to truly enjoy this game as thoroughly as I have. Alright, let's jump right into it. Listen, I don't want to be unreasonable here. All I want are so some simple answers to simple questions. Do you want this to become complicated? Do you? Because we can do that, you know. Make this complicated. Is that what you want? No, sir. Didn't think so. Let's just keep this nice and informal. See, I'm a simple, easygoing fella. I try to be affable and not too good and not go too hard on people. That's what I find works the best. My partner over here, different kind of guy. A real stickler for rules. Good cop, bad cop routine. Ain't that right, Burke? See, I'm not too good with long, complicated answers. I confuse easily. Some kind of brain problem, I don't know. So, sometimes, I have to consult with him. You know, in complicated matters. He has a real talent for helping suspects simplify their statements. This, he's not much of a people person. Most people seem to prefer dealing with me. So I'll tell you what, I give you some simple questions, you'd feed me some simple answers, and we'll be all done with all done with you. How's that sound? Now, mind telling me what this is? Ugh, can't voices. <laughs> Take your time. <clears throat> Do I have to answer that question? Oh god. Okay, so I'm just kind of like sitting here. Do I click on it? The device is pulsating with green light. I should think carefully about the next words I say to him. The cop didn't introduce himself, but I can just barely out make out the name on his badge. It says F. Burkowski. Damn, dude's got some eyesight on him. I don't know for sure, but I have a hunch that the door is locked. I'm not about to try it. Do I use the button? Holy shit! Whoa. Where'd the lights go? Hello? Was was I just knocked out? I feel weird. Like I was just folded flat and inflated again. Hello? Hello, hello? We going on five nights now? Jesus Christ. Where am I? Walk to the... Oh, man, that's bright. Do I... I mean, I don't really see anything else for me to click on, so I'm going to try going outside. Holy shit, this place looks dilapidated. Man, I'm dizzy. I... What is this? What happened here? Sorry, guys, I didn't read that fast enough. Walk over to the door. The sign on the door says evidence room. It's locked. Who's this a picture of? J. Edgar Hoover. Wasn't he a president? Walk upstairs to floor. Red door. Holy balls! Nope! Nope! I have a whole lot of a 
objection to that. Oh, dude, don't turn around. I gotta make you turn around. There's a key attached to this bell. I should just grab it and hope it gets me out of here somehow. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Whatever this key is for, I hope it takes me far away from here and wakes me up. Pick up the hammer or we might need a weapon. Oh my god, that, 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 no. 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 Please open up the evidence room. Key. It fits, I unlocked it. Oh god, where are there all these bodies? Oh god, I must be losing it. This police ID. It's that officer from the interrogation, Burkowski. This is seriously creeping me out, man. Yeah, you and me both, buddy boy. Use the hammer on the lock. Uh, break the lock open. Break the lock open. Come on, I can't even break a rusty old padlock with a hammer. I may be out of shape, but this is stupid. I have a feeling that samurai sword's gonna come in handy here. But you know, what do I know? Abe Lincoln. There's a safe hidden behind this. Far out, man. It's locked. What a drag. The handle's broken off. Maybe try the hammer on it. I'll never get through the door with this puny thing. I wonder if that's where they keep talking secret case stuff. Maybe confiscated money, drugs, or confiscated drug money. There's a hammer on the lock. I'll never get him in there without the right combination. Oh god. The door is tied in place. Yeah, with the dead body. Okay, okay, I just, this might be totally far out, but what if that time travel guy was right? What if this weird box in my packet actually took me out there, the future? I mean, think about it, Joe. What other possible explanation could there be? You're not dreaming, that's for damn sure. Your head hurts too much. What the hell is going on here? For real. Like, for really real. It's a big gaping hole in the floor. No shit! picture. It's Wyatt Earp. Good thing these pictures have labels or I never would have guessed. It's the rope. The guy downstairs is hanging from. It's tying the door in place. There's a hammer on it. I need to cut the rope somehow. How about with that samurai sword, asshole? What am I missing? Is there something in here? How about in here? In here, maybe? Maybe if I hit the locker with the hammer. Use the hammer with the locker. The locker. Come on, Joe. Seriously, Joe. Seriously. Okay. Maybe if I use it on this red door? Hammer. Red door. I know it's not a sledgehammer, idiot. Oh god, I don't want to walk past it. Hammer. Door. The hammer doesn't have a claw to remove the nails, and the planks are too thick to break. There must be a better way out. I know it's a big gaping hole in the floor! Use ID card. Is there any place to use an ID card? I only count three steps. The first two are fine. The third seems to be somewhere in the basement. There's nothing after this? What's in the interrogation room? Is there anything in here? I don't see anything. At all. Am I missing something? 
could be missing something. Okay, so... There isn't anything in the evidence room. I already got the key card off the freaking poor guy over here. Burkowski, every fiber of my being, is telling me not to touch it, even from a skeleton. You can tell he's probably able to snap you like a twig. The great door is locked with a rusty old padlock. Smash it with the hammer. Yeah, I know this is stupid. Lazy ass can't even open a fucking padlock. There wasn't anything behind the first picture. Crap, it broke. Oh, hang on, it clicked. The door is open. Yeah, I thought so. I got this. That's probably the freaking... There's some numbers scribbled on this. It's too short to be a phone number, or license plate. It, maybe it's a door code or something. Country map. It's a map of the country. It's riddled with pins, circles, and notes that look like they were written in a hurry. One of the drawers is unlocked. There's a bottle of gum, gun oil. The bottle's really greasy. There's nothing unusual about the desk. Herman Bell, wanted for murder, possible connection to San Francisco 8. What the hell, San Francisco 8? Anthony Bottom, wanted for two counts of murder, possible connection to Black Libertarian Army in San Francisco 8. Each man's a different person, wanted for one count of murder, possible connection to Marxist Revolutionary Group. Wanted for questioning by the CIA, classified record, suspect in five counts of murder. Suspect Zero. Hey, that's my picture. Looks like it was just taken by the camera when I was talking to that police officer with just now. What's going on here? Oh, fuck, dude! Go upstairs. Use this on this. It worked. Oh, there's nothing in here. Nothing but this paper clip. What a bummer. I know what I can do. We're going back downstairs to where that samurai sword is. Okay. Evidence locker, which is in here. Doors locked with a rusty old padlock. Use oil. Use paper clip. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Good for you, Joe. Open! Katana! Somehow I don't feel as excited about it now. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe because there's a man hanging upstairs and there's a man on, that was... I don't know, set on fucking fire in the next room? Let's go upstairs and cut the poor motherfucker down. Use Katana with the rope. The rope's been cut and I just heard his body hit the ground. Oh god, do I even want to go in here? Oh, why is there another corpse? Bookcase loaded with dusty files and reports. Desk with papers on it. There's a dusty roster on the desk. Seems a lot of officers were home sick that day. There's a big tree growing outside. I may be able to get out that way. I'm not sure I'll get used to this.
Tree? Tree? Can I just get to the tree and get the hell out of here? I'm going to double check in this office, make sure there's nothing I missed, but I don't think I missed anything. Maybe if I smash the window? I should be more careful, I almost cut myself there. At least I can get the hell out of here. God, I know you guys can't hear the music, but I have my headphones on. I kind of can, and it's freaking ominous. Or er, that's really far down. Whatever that guy was feeling in that movie Vertigo, that's what I'm feeling right now. Get on the fucking thing. The branch looks sturdy enough in theory. I'm just not gonna be able to make it. I need something to hold on to besides prayer. I mean, something to hold on to, like that branch. How about the little tree branch? That's not what I'm clicking on. The tree branch. This should be able to hold my weight, but it's three stories down. If I climb down, I'll break my neck. I need some rope or wire. So I'm going to have to go down, back down to the dead guy. Oh, I feel so bad. I don't want to touch him. Oh, God, I'm glad I don't have to. Did he seriously fall all the way down? It's a big gaping hole in the floor. Yay! Still closed. Yay! God, this game is so freaking... This is blowing my mind. Did I seriously just go to the... I went to the right floor. Need your rope, buddy. This should come in handy when I'm ready to hang myself. Oh, that doom. It, it makes like a doom sound right in my ears. And it's like, uh, uh, uh. Heebie jeebie. Walk to office. Walk to the giant gaping hole in the window. Walk to the tree branch. Use the rope with the tree branch. The most important knot I've tied in my life, and I hope it's sturdy. Alright, guys, so now I finish this chapter. Sure. Chapper. Now that I finished this chapter, this game is just, I know it's point and click. I know. But it is so amazing and I am so heavily in love with it so far. It's actually simply styled, but it's beautiful and just the trippiness of being the this time machine idea and being the last person on earth so far it seems just that this guy who is just a, a a normal everyday regular joe seems to be the last guy on the planet this game just the idea of it and he just he ends up getting promoted into this wonderful new job and just ends up arrested in the future and he's like this patient the suspect zero kind of thing this is awesome this game is just blowing my mind all over the place, and I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. But, I just, I, I had to say that. So, give a like, leave a comment if you liked it. Um, as always, subscribe to follow me, and subscribe to get new stuff from me. I am on Twitter, I am on Facebook, um... I'm completely, like, blanking on my names right now, but it doesn't really matter. It's not that big a deal. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!